took some signs. As I said before, you have the picture of Czech bar. I'm sorry, I wanted to show this on the screen, but we don't have it, so that's why we use paper, like the old school version of the So, here you have the man. Let's say it doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you like him, you hate him, you're, you are a communist, you hate communists, it doesn't matter. You have the man and you have the sign that is used to represent this man. This is, by the way, one of the most like, exploited images ever because it doesn't really matter anymore what this sign means. It's just, it just became like a pop culture sign thing. So it just became like a pop culture sign for basically almost everything, for revolutions, for socialism, or even just for like pop culture, I don't know, like fashion things fashion. and stuff like that. It's not, it's not necessarily uh, what this guy was at the beginning. So that's why I added those little things. It's just like, here's your feeling or here's your like uh, movie that your brain stores. Here's the sign that brings it out from there. And then you have all these versions that kind of like relate to it. Here you have like Mona Lisa, which is kind of like another pop icon of her own. But then again, the, the sole thing in this picture is just that it's kind of like resembling to Che Guevara. You don't even see Mona Lisa anymore because it's like the power of that sole sign, that Che Guevara sign that took over her story and kind of like make it his own. And down here you have like one of the most hated forms of art, which is street art or whatever. Just like how by using only like this outline and the star on the top, people still recognize those two lines as the outline of Che Guevara. And on the other side, how people like interact with art. You can't really, uh, I mean, took a piece of art and just put it out there and say that it's finished because you need you need an audience you need people to interact with it and that's the whole thing why signs are so important because the way the system works is is you have the signs and by creating a system as we said by using more of them and the correlations between them you have a medium but non medium is complete without the interaction of people because that's the way artists work you have like a concept or a sign that you use for your picture or your film or your whatever media of choice and you create the whole story behind it you know like by adding let's say uh, here we have the theory, theory behind it and here we have like the practical stuff that you do like uh, put paint on canvas or like create a whole uh, I mean, like, literally taking photos and stuff like that. And then again, I mean, by combining all of those, you get a picture, or a book, a movie, whatever, like a finished piece of art that you kind of like put out there. And then you need a title for it, or you need a word that represents it in order for people to understand what your concept is. So again, you're shrinking all of this into one little concept that it is basically like almost identical to the sign from where you started. Because the sole idea of the painting is kind of like what the title is going to be or the title is relating to the sole theory of the picture. But then again, you're putting it out there and you have this, again, the same system as here. You have your little title or whatever thing you created and then you expect uh, your viewer or your audience to create the same thing as you did by analyzing the whole structure of the picture you expect them to come up with the same concept that you had when you created it so by analyzing the whole system and by knowing your signs and knowing the correlations you can predict their re reactions to it. So that's what I told you before. When you, let's say you want to do a painting, uh, an easy pop art painting, you just use the face of Che Guevara, a little effect, and then you have this picture. But you have to predict, like, does it serve your purpose? What was your, what was the sign that you started with? You know, like, what was your theory? And by 
analyzing his, let's say, by analyzing the visual image and the story behind the image, you kind of like predict what people are going to think about it at the end. So that's how we're going to do things.